Yo, what up? This is Gaming with CJ here. Back for another video inside of CJ's Festive City. And in this video, I am going to be joined by Snowball. Hello, Snowball. Um, how are you doing today? Good? That's, that's great. That's fantastic. Is it the morning, by the way? I forgot to look at that. Indeed it is. We have a full day of work today. Uh, but before we do that, before we go ahead and do our work, we have to go ahead and flick day number three of CD's Christmas Countdown. And let's see what the item that we get from today's Christmas Countdown will be. Oh, Elytra. <laughs> um, well, Elytra can always go good, I guess. Um... We could use that in a later episode. Uh, do you want to grab one pro? You don't really need one, but... There we go. So, day five. We're still quite a ways away from uh, Christmas, but uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting pretty close. But uh, we're going to head down to the teleporter and head over to the building area for today, which is, if you watched the last episode of CJ's city or Steve's countdown we started building a new mini game in the fun land and um oh I teleported pro first I'm actually very excited for this mini game to be played as I said the last episode where did I oh it's back here I always forget because Steve's fun land is getting very very big all right so it's just behind watering wardens we started it in the last episode I got the floor done and I forgot to dig out the bottom which we're not really worried about today anyways, because today is a simple task. Uh, and hopefully the next episode we'll get the uh, redstone done. Uh, we might be able to get a head start on that today. But uh, that's doubtful. Um, but uh, here we are. Here's the minigame. Um, we still have to clear these trees too. Um, which won't take long at all. Um, but it's a pretty wide open minigame, uh, as you can see. It's uh, not too big. It's not as big as Watering Worlds. Watering Worlds is actually quite a lot bigger than this mini game. But uh, basically, what we're doing in today's episode is we are building these towers for the mini game, um, which I actually have a picture of, which I probably should look at before I go ahead and start building anything. Um, oh yeah, I was doing it right. Okay, um, I was a little worried there. Um, I forget how tall they are actually. Let me just take one more glance at the picture. Uh, I don't really think it matters, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven blocks tall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But this one actually stops there, and it's all white on the top. Like this. Uh, yeah, it's all white on the top, except for this, which goes like that. And then this is white. This is white. And it actually goes out. Wait. Oh, yeah, because this block will be extended. And then this one will be white. That one will be green, white, green, and white, except for also the top, which is also green like that. And, uh, oh, it goes out one more, by mistake. And then this block extends because there's going to be a piston in there, which uh, actually makes the mini game work uh, work to its best advantage. And is that right? Yeah, that's right. We're good. All right, so now we need to take another brick just so you don't fall off the side like that. don't want anybody falling off the side of the minigame. So basically, when you play, you'll be standing on here, and uh, I have to put, there's going to be a lever down here. I think it's right there, I believe, right here on this block. I think, or it might even be on my little stand here. But there's also ladders that go up the back, so you can get up, of course. But how it works is, I come down here, flick the lever, which will delay the stopping of the color changer, and when it stops on a certain color, and it lights up on the floor. Um, there will be lights 
which we have to add in on the floor down there, which will indicate that it has officially stopped. Uh, then we shoot at the the color that shows up. So it's actually very hard to aim, so you have to... But there will be buttons on those two things there, and that will activate the uh, piston here, which will pull back, and they will fall down to here. And it's not a very far drop, but <coughs> it works. So uh, then we have to do the same to all four sides, so I will finish off this one. Four, five, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. And how many does it go in again? Oh, that's wrong. Hold on. Oh, yeah, no, that's right. It goes out. Oh, I am doing this wrong. I am doing it wrong. Hold on, bro. Has to go out here. Is that right? Am I doing this wrong? Or am I d no, I'm doing it right. There we go. We got it that time. And then I think the block is out here. May as well just make it hollow over here. Oh yeah, that's right there. Of course, the last one always gives me trouble. Every time. Every time. Which is expected, anyways. And there. Perfect. So those are the towers um, that the players will stand on. Uh, so we got that part done. Uh, we may as well add in the beacon. Or uh, start digging. I forget how deep it has to go though, because it has to have certain. So I know blue is on top. So there will be a blue. Well, not a blue piston, because there are no such thing as blue pistons. But um, blue stained glass. I was about to say blue piston. That's what I meant by that. Uh, so it'll be blue stained glass here. Then it'll be the next color. I think was red. It doesn't really matter. I don't think, but I just want it to be kind of accurate. But each one goes down one so that they don't, like, push each other, I guess. It'll be green. And then it will be... Wait, hold on, that's right, right? Yes. Then it'll be orange. So, orange, stained glass there. Meaning the beacon... It doesn't really matter how deep the beacon is, actually, I guess. It does have to be on diamond, so... I will get that done now, I guess. Wait, where's the first? Okay, yeah, this is about deep enough. Okay, now we need the beacon. Where's beacons? Oh, they're there. Place that down there. And we have the beacon in the middle. So that's good. <coughs> uh, excuse me. That part is done. So basically how it works is the pistons push out. Um, and as you most likely know in Minecraft, as a, if a piston is pushed out with a stained glass, it will change to the color. But it takes a while to change sometimes. I want to change pretty quickly for some reason though. Like for the first one. I don't know why. Anyways, uh, now you know what? We'll just we'll just dig a little bit. Because that's going to be... There's going to be quite a bit of redstone to fit in here. While we're building this mini game. At least the pistons actually don't block out light. So that's good. Like if I were to just close off me and a pistol. They keep light in. So I'll be able to see pretty well. Oh wait, hang on. I did the green wrong. The green has to be that one more. Wait. No, green was right. Orange has to be that one more. And 
And the reason for that is just basically so they don't push into each other. So like if a glass was there and then another one was here, it could like go there and then that one will push that one over. That's the only reason. I'm sure you guys are most likely Minecraft pros and I'm just the most new Minecraft player. So we have this pretty much cut out. But uh, it requires way more redstone than this little space. So um, I guess I could start by doing the tower redstone. I can get that done in this episode and then do the more complicated redstone in the next episode. Where am I? Okay, I'm just going to break this for now. Because the tower is here. Does it go right up to the piston? I can't see. Okay, i got to break out the back of the tower, actually, so I can see. Oh, there is no piston. <laughs> I didn't put the piston in yet. Okay, so the piston will always be extended so that that block is out. So, i break this one, too. So there, it's obviously going to turn off a few times while I do this. Is that off or on? Off. One more down. There we go. So it's a total of one, two, three, four, five torches. So that I can go. I can go underground and do this, I guess. Yeah, we'll do the underground part. So I gotta find out where the buttons are. And, wait, hold on, I am missing something here. Oh, right, yes, there's, for the buttons it has to do this so that you can't see the redstone. Almost forgot about that, um, but I didn't, which is good. Uh, so I cut out that one. Oh wait, maybe I, oh yes I do, Never mind. Don't want to do it wrong CJ, you do not want to do this wrong. So buttons there. Uh, I'm going to actually do it with the color of the, the team just so we don't mess it up. And usually when I see a block underground with just a random block underground, then it'll most likely I'll most likely know that it's part of the mini game. Okay, so these just have to lead down, but they all have to lead into their own separate I should have taken a picture of the redstone, but this will do. I just gotta find the other one. I need to make it so you can have to uh, hit both buttons though. I forget how I did that. Let me just see if I have a picture of the redstone for that part. I don't believe I do. I do not. That's okay. We'll do work with what we got and then if I have to make a few changes, I'll make a few changes. I'm not really that worried about it right now. Because, yeah, see, if I hit one button, then even the thing will go in, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. I think I need to go one lower. No, I can't go one lower. There was a way I did this, and I'm already forgetting it. Hang on. It might be this. Okay, we got it now. It's like this. Now I simply remember. Yes, there we go. Okay, we got it. All fixed. So that should be pushed out now? Yes. Yes it is. 
So now you have to hit both buttons in order to turn the switch or pull the pistol in. See, Pro is pretty good at redstone, so I don't really even have to monitor him for that. Pro actually is one of the ones who taught me how to do majority of the redstone. Alright, so now, as you will see, the block is out, but in order to for it to move in, I hit one button, that doesn't do it. Hit the second button. That also doesn't do it. Oh, did I not hit that button? No, I did. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Something is wrong. I forget how I did it. Uh-oh. Pro might know. Or not. <laughs> um, there's a specific way I did it, and I already forget. Hang on, let me just look at my. Okay. Okay, Pro knows something more than I do. Alright, we're gonna let him work away at that. Uh, we're almost to the end of the episode anyway, so I can just simply just do it in the next episode. Add all the buttons onto the other. It's here, and I'll add a few torches because these can tend to get dark. Um, what over here? It's up here, I guess. Doesn't really matter where. Yeah, that works. Looks like it's pretty lit up. And I'll just add in the, uh, the lights, I guess, now. All of the redstone lamps on here. There. Those are critical. Oh, Pro's writing something now. Okay, I'll just figure it out. Pro, I'll just look at the uh, the sketchbook world. I have a sketchbook world, if you guys didn't know. Um, I'll look at the sketchbook world and I'll just see how I did the redstone and how I connected it up in that, uh, in that world. And then, then I'll come back and fix it up because I know I did it a certain way and I know I made it work. But yeah, I guess we'll end the episode off here. And then we'll do all the redstone in the next episode. I'll have a pretty dug out pit for the next episode but i want to thank you for watching be sure to like subscribe and leave a comment down below saying what we should build in this world because we always leave your fantastic ideas in the next episode we will finish all the redstone and um we will be on day number five wait no day number six yes day number six in the next episode but uh yeah i want to thank you for watching and i will see you on day number six see jay